Welcome to Punch TV. We've got Dean from Fighting Fit Physio here. This is our fourth instalment on bad pad work technique and injury prevention. Now this is an old culprit, is the pad person who smashes down and puts weight on an uppercut. So let's just look at it slowly. If I'm the pad person, I'd lean down and put weight through here. What's happening, Dean? You're getting a lot of pressure through the shoulder here. Okay, and also through the wrist and through the elbow, but a lot of it's going to come through here. So if I'm smaller, like I'm much smaller than Nick, he's going to, if he comes through with full power, and if I can say a 40 or 50 kilo PT lady try to do pads for Nick, I'm going to get hurt. Yeah, right? you're going to end up with a shoulder injury and probably some impingement through that area. Okay, so, um, and what's now, reverse it, if I'm a, if I'm a 100 kilo guy, and I've got a small lady in front of me or a teenager and I'm here hitting down, what am I going to do to the boxer? Um, so it's going to be a lot of pressure through his wrist, okay? And that force coming down is actually pulling him towards the ground. So you want to finish the punch up through there. So you want that good follow through, that's where the technique comes in. Okay, so the technique of pad work is to, have, is to grip the pad but be very relaxed in the wrist. We're going to ask Nick just to clip it. I'm not going to fight his power at all. And Nick will now demonstrate a nice smooth punch and a clip. It's very easy for me to hold the pad. Let's have a look. And he goes straight up through. So I'm just letting him clip that. I'm very relaxed. And see straight away he can punch as hard as he likes. And he's got his fire through. And does that feel nice and light on you? It feels a lot better. No pain on me. That's Punch TV. Thanks.